what a day, what a lovely day it is because I have some exciting movie news to share with you guys and it was first announced back at the end of March that Anya Taylor-Joy was going to be cast as a young Furiosa in a Mad Max spin-off movie slash prequel and that role was made very popular by Charlize Theron, who played this character in Mad Max Fury Road quite a few years ago. And I am actually really excited about this because I feel like lately we have seen how talented Anya Taylor-Joy can be with movies like The Witch, which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And she was in Split and Glass from M. Night Shyamalan, and even uh, this year's Emma, which went straight to VOD, and also the long-awaited New Mutants movie. And I really feel like this is a role that will really test her acting ability. I mean, I feel like this could be a role that is also fit, not only physically demanding, but one that just seems like you really have to get out of your element here. Now, the way that I heard that this whole movie was going to be made, which will still be directed by George Miller, who directed Mad Max Fury Road, and it is essentially going to be an origin story. So I feel like based on the information that we got from the older version of the character in Mad Max Fury Road, maybe we will find out where she was and what she was up to before going to the Citadel and working for the warlord known as Immortan Joe for, I'm pretty sure they said 19 years, but I actually saw how many days she had actually been away from this clan of all women and she talks about how she had a mother who died so maybe we'll see some family relationship in the movie as well as seeing the green place which was mentioned and apparently it was essentially a paradise before uh being taken over by Immortan Joe. Just once again, seeing all these women known as the many mothers, and I think it'll be really cool to delve into this type of story because I feel like already the movie was so complex and even though it was focusing more on Tom Hardy as Mad Max, but her character was just so iconic and so popular and so badass that I feel like seeing a younger version of her, I wonder if she was even badass back then. And also I'd like to know when she lost her arm. Uh, so maybe or maybe not. I don't know if we'll see that in the movie, but uh, to see a, you know what she did in her younger years and how she grew up and how she was raised, I think will be a really cool perspective to see, uh, you know, like with any origin story and how that all goes. Uh, it'll be really cool to see how George Miller is going to pull that off. But not only is she going to be the main focus of the movie, but we have also learned from Deadline that there have been new additions to the cast, which include Chris Hemsworth and Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. So I first off want to mention that Chris Hemsworth being in this movie I think is pretty cool because he has already been seen in several franchises over the years which include uh, all the Thor uh, movies and the Marvel Universe and uh, also the Avengers and soon to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and potentially uh, the four and also the fourth upcoming Thor movie Love and Thunder and he was also in Men in Black International, which I didn't end up seeing. So I don't know if it was any good or if you guys liked that movie. And also he was in the all-female Ghostbusters movie. But nonetheless, I just think him already being sort of this, you know, hot commodity and just 
a superstar internationally. I think that he is definitely going to help bring in audiences to this movie that maybe people will still want to see this movie for Anya Taylor-Joy in the lead and I thought she was really good in all of her movies and ever since The Witch came out I said to myself that yeah I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing any other movie that she will star in so I think this is one that could you know help her career as far as branching out. Also when you include Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, I mean, I have also, like Chris Hemsworth, have seen him do several po projects, especially movies under Warner Brothers, uh, Warner Brothers production, which include Aquaman and even HBO's Watchmen series, which only lasted one season, unfortunately, but it earned him his first Emmy Award. So I was really happy about that because I thought he was one of the best characters playing Dr. Manhattan in that series, and I highly recommend checking it out. And I also found out he will be in The Matrix 4. So, I, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. And he's got other great uh, movie roles under his belt, so I think he's also equally talented. So it'll be really cool to see what roles Chris Hemsworth and he are going to have in the Furiosa movie. Hopefully they don't overshadow the leading lady. So I just feel like this is going to be a movie that, yeah, I actually was, you know, not asking for it, but who knows? It might be one that's worth checking out in the end. I hope it will be uh, filming soon. I heard that they were going to try and film the movie come 2021 and I know I keep mentioning it but due to the pandemic you know you never know how things are gonna go in the movie industry so we'll wait and see what happens. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this latest casting news and have you been a fan of Mad Max Fury Road? And are you looking forward to seeing Anya Taylor-Joy play Furiosa? And uh, who do you think Chris Hemsworth and Yaya Abdul-Mateen II are going to play in the movie? So let me know. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I'll see you guys later.